Welcome. This video describes how to get your own custom color aim into Maxwell to use it as a custom reference that you can compare all your measurements to. Some of you will be printing to one or another of the industry standards available today, Crackle 2013, or any of the other CRPCs here. These are built into Maxwell already as a color aim, and you can choose any of these within the reference set in Maxwell. Others of you will want to use your own custom color aim. Maxwell is very flexible and can be used in any way that works well for you. The first thing is to get your custom aim into Maxwell. This might be a file that is an average of your ideal measurements or just a golden run after you've recalibrated a machine. For some of our customers, it can be just as simple as measuring in a target that has come off a well-calibrated printer and then use that as their color aim to aim for with future measurements. By way of having a box where you can put these things, you can have a target bin device and a target bin track where you can place any target measurements you want to use as color aims. That way you're not dumping them into a regular track where it might throw off your nice smooth trend lines. If you don't already have these in your account, you can make them yourself. You can measure into the target bin track using the Maxwell client. You can also drop any measurements you already have in the Maxwell here directly into that target bin track. You can use any set of patches as a color aim. It's a good idea to use a color aim file that contains all the patches you might ever want to measure because the actual target print you measure at the Maxwell client station needs to be a subset of the color aim. But note that it doesn't have to be exactly the same patches as the color aim. This is an 1821 patch color aim that contains an IT87-5, a P2P51, and an ID Alliance 84 patch target all in one. So when I'm taking measurements, I can choose whether I want to measure using a P2P target or an ID Alliance 84 patch target or an IT8. And any of those will work and be compared to this color aim. The two steps to remember are, you have to mark it so that it can be used as a color aim. and then change the reference set so that it is using the new color aim. Go into the references section. You can refresh the color aims list to see it show up here. But the main thing is to find the reference set and change the color aim. Remember a reference set is a combination of the color aim and the metrics that you'll use. If you already have a reference set in place and you just need to update it with a new color aim, this is very simple. You just go into the reference set and change the color aim. A lot of viewers here might be wanting to also make a new reference set when they add a new color aim. So let me show you how to do that. To duplicate a ref set you already have, highlight the reference set and then go into the gear menu and choose duplicate. This is much better than creating a ref set from scratch because all the metrics are duplicated as well. Now you can add or change any metrics, tolerances, go in and change the name, and then you can go into scanning rules to have this new ref set point to your new color aim. Here's a great hint. Double click any of these gray fields to go into the edit mode quickly. Now, if you're in the process of adding a custom color aim, it might be because you're adding a new track or new media. Don't forget the final step of getting your track to point to this new ref set. Now you're all ready to go. For those who need a refresher, here's how to add that new track in the Maxwell client. Click the plus button in the bottom left corner, browse to your track and click OK. Your track is installed and you're all ready to start measuring. Fill out any of these default items if you want to make it faster next time. The flashing icon in the upper right shows you that the Maxwell client is getting all this new info down from the Maxwell servers. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions. We at Chromix are here to help you every step of the way. Thanks for watching.